Now that's all very well as the beginning for the spiritual life amongst those people who are gifted with this kind of remembering of what they once had. But what of those souls which feel this yearning only very vaguely or in very infrequent moments, or seemingly not at all? Well, such people are in the Islamic understanding victims of something called the, the thickness of the world fairly direct image. Key mystical term, the katharfa. The veil has become very thick for them. They can no longer see through it in the divine beloved. Um, so these people are victims, as it were, of the negative possibilities of the world. The world, this complex of phenomena in which we find ourselves, is a two-edged sword. It's true that as the Quran says, constantly celebrates, it recalls and reminds us of its divine origin. However, the same world can also veil and obscure it because we become too obsessed with the signpost that we no longer see where the sign is pointing. Most human beings marinated, as it were, from birth in a kind of worldliness because of their upbringing, because of their culture distracted by the sheer brilliance and, and multiplicity of creation, simply find it hard to see through the world and perceive or even intuit what might lie behind it. This error can be both mental, we presume from the evidence of our senses that the world represents all that can exist, which is the error of contemporary philosophy. And also it can be spiritual, because our innate knowledge of God with which we were born Remember, Islam doesn't recognize the concept of original sin. Our innate knowledge of God, which gives us the ability to recognize the works of God as works of God, has somehow atrophied. And this problem, which is the product of kathatha, of the illusory thickness of the world, is famously referred to as rafla. The GH sound is pronounced roughly like this, the French R. It's a kind of um, guttural R, rafla. This means heedlessness, forgetfulness. And this is the state of most human beings. And this is why the beginning of the spiritual path in Islam is not so much a repentance as a turning or a returning. Turning away from the things we consider to be real but aren't back towards what we once knew to be real. It's a remembering, a dhikr. Dhikr and ghafla are polar opposites. Dhikr means remembrance, recollection. Also reminding oneself, invocation. Now, the classic Muslim text on how to overcome this sickness of ghafla is as always, the Holy Quran itself. The Quran is there to articulate for us a vision of the world which we all had before we were born. Hence, I think it's surprising and to some even disconcerting literary style. The Quran's intention is not to supply us with information that we never had, but simply to unearth it from our souls. So the normal discursive linear techniques of, say, um, history books or novels are simply nowhere in sight in the Quran. It speaks directly to the heart, constantly pushing, remembering, challenging. Um, and it has to be listened to with the heart. And there are many verses in the Quran itself which indicate this non ratiocinative um, nature of God's speech. For instance, where it proclaims, God has placed covers over the hearts of those who have no faith in the other world, lest they should understand it, the Quran. And he has set a barrier over their ears. Note, by the way, that the text is not here just referring to, to Muslims. It merely says that the key to lifting the veil from the Quran is faith. So if you come to the Quran from a position of unfaith, you will merely see a mirror of yourself in the Quran. If you come to it, with a higher degree of spirituality. And the Quran here suggests that it doesn't have to be something achieved simply or exclusively within a Muslim context. Then you will begin to see something deeper. And of course, the great saints, their, their delight famously in Islamic hagiography hey, is that they are inseparable from the Quran. They read the Quran constantly, they recite from it, they find it a constant delight. 
um, as one of them said, um, the Quran is God's banquet 